Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ailey. If you're new to today's video, we're just going to do a really quick little sort of first impressions try out of this little dude right here. This is the iMix. The, if you are a nail professional and you're signed up to Sweet Squared at all, you would have heard of this already. I just wanted to do a quick video on it. Basically, as somebody who is completely new to the brand, completely new to the idea, the technology, everything like that, and give you a proper sort of like well, dummies leading the dummies kind of thing. <laughs> so this is the iMix if you are just hearing about this. Basically, this is supposed to solve all of our nail polish problems. You know the whole, my arm's gonna fall off because I have to shake my polish bottle or polish bottle 17 million times a day for every single client. Well, this is supposed to fix that. So bye-bye guns. <laughs> Put the price up on the screen for you um, and obviously the little dudes which well it'll make sense in a minute once I show you but these little dudes here I'll put a price for them as well they're extra um, and you do need them to make this little thing work so in the box so for reference I have a can of juice here this is the size of the box about the size of a normal can of juice and the little dude itself that's the difference between like a can of juice and that so I mean sitting in the palm of my hand it really is teeny tiny <laughs> I didn't realize how small it was at all because all of the promotional stuff make it look quite big but you don't realize how small a bottle of polish is you know when you put a bottle of polish on so basically in here is magnets and we'll I'll show you what this thing is for shortly but basically inside here is magnets and they spin so you might be thinking I know where you're going and then you get these little doofers here now we know inside regular polish bottles you sometimes get ball bearings I think they may work with this anyway but because you want to get a better mix they actually have these little things as well I have one down here that's sort of come away so this here so these are called mixers look how teeny tiny it is I, I, I when I saw these I thought they were huge it's like a tick I it's about the size of a Tic Tac, maybe a wee bit smaller actually, but essentially this will go inside your bottle and when it's inside the bottle, the fact that um, the magnet on this is spinning will cause this to spin round inside your bottle and it will mix your product. It's just basically like having a stirrer inside the bottom of the bottle. Um, if you've got very, very thickened bottles or very big bottles, they do recommend having two of these so that the two can work together. But I'm hoping it's just going to work with one. So you get uh, the little iMix and you get a power cord with it as well. It's obviously a USB power cord. You don't get a plug with it, so I'm just going to grab one. There we go. It actually started up. That is it there. You can act, I don't know if you can see it spinning because of the lights. You can sort of see it flashing, but yeah, it is actually spinning there. And what it does is it just, the lights sort of fade in and out different colors. I like that, I think it's cool. Some people were saying, can you turn the lights off? But that is that is pretty much it. So that is, that is all it does. It just sits and it spins. So we're gonna grab a polish bottle. Um, I'm gonna try and find like the oldest one I can find. It's probably gonna be a bottle of shellac and um, we're gonna try it. So I have two. I have an old CND Lux for like a bigger bottle. It just fits in and no more. And I have a, look how, this is like one of my colours, a uninhibited a CND shellac. A, I'll just show you how sort of separated this one is. See it on the brush there, you can sort of see. Now this one, the, these were obviously discontinued, sorry I'm blurry. But you can see like there's not an awful lot left in this one so I'm just gonna see what it's like in a sort of more empty bottle sort of go into half nail view mode okay so we are on zoomed out nail view mode so here's your little iMix shellac shellac and this is the little doofer here so I'm gonna take this little guy and I'm gonna pop him inside bottle of shellac that's it just coax them in a little bit. Put that one in there. There we go. We're just going to go for it here. So I'm going to turn that one on and I'm going to sit. Oh. Okay, 
so what I'm going to do is, you can actually see if I take this and I put it up to it, you can sort of see it, I don't know if you can see that, I really hope you can, see how the bottle's sort of like shaking. I'm not shaking the bottle, it's doing that itself. I've seen people sort of do this, apparently if it, it's struggling a little bit you can shake it a little bit, so I'm just going to shake it just a little bit and then pop it on and now it's moving really slowly I don't know if you can see that see the things going round that's it trying to catch on to the magnets and move that little mixer around in the bottle now it's getting a little bit faster so you can see that it's just it's struggling a little bit but it is going so I'm going to let it go obviously you'll have to be a little bit careful with this because you don't want you know it's all magnets so be careful when it's going near your phone when it's going near you know anything that can be because there are you don't want it sitting next to your phone on the desk there we go it's mixing quite nicely there now seems to be going quite freely now they have said that this shouldn't affect your brushes so I'm just hoping that that is true. Obviously they've tested it. These little bottles, I just thought that it would be quite difficult for it to move around without touching the brush but there really isn't much noise off of it at all. Okay, so for me, I mean that is probably mixed better than it would be had I mixed it by shaking it. And it wasn't on its full cycle either. And we're going to try and remove this one from here. So you'll probably be sick of seeing people do this if you've been looking at this for a wee while. But, you know, it is the same process. But this is just a dummy doing it that's never... This is the first time I'm seeing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt the bottle because I've never seen anybody do this with shellac yet. So I can feel the magnet at the bottom here. I can feel that it's pulling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up. And I can actually see it inside the bottle. It literally, immediately, as soon as I put it in, it gripped it. There's the two ball bearings. <laughs> it really is. Look, it's even magnetised this. It really is quite a strong little magnet. There we go, so that's the other ball bearing. I'm going to pop that back in. Obviously, it wouldn't really matter too much if it was just, you know, you were just taking it out because the bottle was empty. But I want to keep the ball bearings in there, so we'll put them back. And then you've got this little guy here. And then all you really have to do is clean it off. If you're putting it in the same colour, you wouldn't have to clean it off. But if you're not, then you just have to oh, clean it. So I've just got a little bit of alcohol here. Obviously, if it was normal nail polish, you would need acetone to clean it, but because it's just it's gel polish, this little bit of alcohol should clean it up nicely. I will be putting mixers in all of my bottles that I use relatively, really, relatively regularly. Um, and to keep them together as well, you can just sort of clump them together like that. They all magnetise to one another. Um, but yeah... I'm just going to take these out just now just because I don't want to end up doubling them up because when I go to my salon I will obviously be mixing up all of my colours, cleaning all the bottles off and stuff like that because you do, you know, have just build up and stuff like that. And then obviously just give this thing a wipe as well. But th that's fantastic, that's such a, wee a brilliant little tool that. Okay. So this seems to be spinning relatively freely now. It's not a full cycle, so I don't know what this is going to look like, but... Oh my god. Look at it, compared to what it was. It's actually got some stuff on it. Like, I would have been close to throwing that away. It definitely needs more. I mean, this one was bad. It was, like, ready to throw out bad. Just cleaned off the brush. The brush looks fine. Doesn't look like it's... Sustained any damage or anything like that Looks all good to me Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. I mean 
There's not a massive, massive amount to say about it. I'm going to take this one out and give it a clean anyway, uh, ready to go into another bottle. But I ordered 50, a pack of 50 and you get a pack of 10 free with the machine when you buy it. Um, the machine is a little bit expensive. I think it's $54.95 or $54.99 or something like that plus VAT. So yeah, if you know what somebody's colour is beforehand or if they've sent you a picture and you need to do some like art and stuff like that, then you can obviously be doing this ahead of time. I, it takes a wee bit longer than I thought it was going to, so that is, it's a little bit of a drawback, but when you're using shakers and I sometimes find like if I'm shaking um, a bottle of polish on the fly you can add a load of air bubbles into it as well which makes it a bit of a nightmare when you're putting it on the nail and you start seeing all these little air bubbles it can be a total nightmare I know that this is supposed to combat that I think it's a genius idea I really do I think it's pretty awesome I do think a couple of small things of these would have been better than one big one if you know what I mean like if you put two in or like if that little torpedo split into two like more the size of the ball bearings that you would normally get because I think that it would mix a little bit better rather than it being the one and it's sort of try struggling to get round and round in like a funny shaped bottle like that I think in round bottles it'll be totally perfect and totally fine and it'll work great but I mean to be able to sit this on your desk it doesn't take up much room at all I actually have my light elegance lamp the LE dot here and I mean it's it's teeny tiny compared to that if you own an LE dot this is basically the size of this tiny little thing. I do not like shaking bottles of polish and a lot of the time I won't shake them enough because of that and I do find that when I go to paint somebody's nails it can be annoying for me and maybe not the best quality of service for them if it's not been shaked up properly. And at the end of the day, when it's got the tiniest little bit in it like that, when you're shaking it, you're not really doing an awful lot to it. This will actually fix that problem and you'll be able to get that last bit out. I mean, I was getting to the point where I would take, not this, but like an orange wood stick and put it in and mix it up with that and then pull it out on the orange wood stick, you know, just to get the last bits out of a bottle because these are not cheap. Look, you see how very did that one is. Uh, so I think that even if you want to justify the price of it, think about all the bottles that you'll be able to get right to the very end of rather than having to throw them away. And of course, like I said, the fact that you can take these little doodads out means that you can reuse them and reuse them and reuse them. So it's not like you're going to be throwing money at them. The only time you'll have to buy new ones of those is when you buy more polishes. So you're going to be spending money anyway. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make this really quick. I hope it was quick after I've like, you know, zoomed through all the really boring bits. I think it's cute. It's really nice. Like they were saying as well, it'll be cool for little like photo opportunities and stuff like that. But yeah, it's dead, dead simple. It's going to be really, really, really effective and I cannot wait to not have to shake a bottle again. I mean, yes, okay, you have to shake it to wake it up, but like my arm used to get really sore, okay? So yeah. That is pretty much it. And if you enjoyed this video, obviously I would love it if you've got a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Is there any other new gadgets out, nail techs in the world, beauty therapists in the world, that you think would be a cool thing to review? Let me know in the comment section below. I to see more salon style vlogs and things like that. They will be coming soon. I am getting my salon ready at the moment. Fingers crossed we'll be open by the end of April, but I've got so much work to do. So yeah. I think that is pretty much it. Obviously, if you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.